Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I have a throwaway Thursday video for you. So I have only one product regret so I'm going to start off with that one and then um, I'm going to move into um, some other products that I've just used up this month. So the one that was a fail for me was this Voluminous Superstar Mascara and I really thought I was going to love this guy but I really didn't. <laughs> so it's a two-step process. The first side um, was um, like a lash primer. And here was the brush. Like the wand was so weird. Like I never, like I've tried this probably 10 times. I tried it a different way each time. I just never really got the primer on my lashes to where it looked like nice because then you go over it with this side and it's just um, your black mascara and it's just a normal um, wand and it's got this rounded wand. So I thought, oh, this is like my roller lash. Like I'm really gonna like it. It's not, um, it's cause it doesn't have that patented technology um, in the bristles. Oh, but I'm getting it everywhere. Uh, <laughs> that, um, that the roller lash has. Um, I'll probably still use the mascara side of this, just like whatever. Um, but I thought this was kind of a fail product, and this was like a $10 mascara, so on that. So, but here are some of the products that I used up. Um, I loved all of these products, so um, this one is the Comforter Shower Cream, and um, this is a Lush product, and I just got the smaller size. I don't know, maybe I got this back in like February, March, something like that. Um, I This was actually, I finished it up like the day that I filmed my last empties video. Um, I did really like this. It was like a weird color, um, but it was okay. It was pretty good, smelled good. It was kind of like black raspberry kind of. And that one I just used with like a loofah, just like a puff and it was, it was pretty nice. It lathered really nice, with which I liked. All right, so the next thing that I used up was, um, this is a sample that I got at Target. Um, so it's um, the Pixie Skin Treats. Um, it's the Glow Med Cleanser. And it was just a deep clarifying cleanser. And I know it comes in a bigger size. Um, I really loved this face cleanser. I used it like every day after I got it. Um, it's like a mud cleanser. And my face felt so good after, like so clean. And I think it really helped with my pores. Like, I really think it exfoliated. So this was an awesome product. Um, I think I got this one free by buying, like, three other samples. I have no clue how much the full size is. Um, I'll probably put it in the description when I go ahead to upload this video. But I love this mask. Um, the other face product that I had, um, I finally finished this BB cream. Um, it's by Maybelline, and it's the Dream Fresh BB 8-in-1 Beauty Balm Skin Protector. Um, it's in the color Light Sheer Tint, and it does have an SPF, and it's actually an SPF 30. So I bought this because um, I did a my very first giveaway. I bought this for myself to try it on, and I wasn't super into it. I was like, what? I don't get BB cream and so then like I was lingered on underneath um like my foundation and stuff like that and now I kind of now that it's been like summery and nice out I actually figured out that I like this under a powder foundation so now I know what to do with this and I love it and I do think it really fills in my pores like I feel like it makes my face look really light and fresh I like this a lot and then the last product that I have is an empty. Um, it's a conditioner surprise. Um, this is the Pantene Pro V 3 Minute Miracle. Um, it's this sheer volume deep conditioner. I probably showed this in my favorites video um, or in a haul before, but so I have used this up to like where you literally can't squeeze any more out. Um, <laughs> I actually really did love this. This was the kind of conditioner where you wash your hair and then you put this on and you leave it on for a three minutes and then you wash it out um, and it did make my hair so soft and it did actually give my hair volume so I, I like that it did that. A lot of things say that they're volumizing and they're not. So yeah, no, I really like this and I really recommend it um, but it is by Pantene so I know this is not a cruelty free brand. I don't think, well no, I would take that back. It might be, I don't know. So I've been trying to move towards more like cruelty-free products for like my hair and my body, but 
this one I still liked anyway. So that's everything that I have for um, for my throwaways, my empties. But I did want to take just a second and say I think this might be the last video that you guys see where I'm in my parents' house. I'm so excited. So um, my husband and I are finally getting our own place. And um, so I'm going to have like a filming room and you won't have just see this like weird wall behind me anymore. Um, I'm going to try and make like a backdrop, make it more interesting to watch my videos. So very, very excited. Um, and yeah, so I'm moving like at the middle of next month. So um, I'm going to start packing and going through like the moving craziness and stuff like that. So, but I will see you guys um, in my next video. Don't know when that's going to be just with the moving and everything, but I will see you then. Bye.